On this episode of That's My Houston, we have teamed up with the Woodland City Lifestyle Magazine to bring you an inspiring story of 209th Designs located in the heart of Tomball, Texas. This one-stop shop has become the new interior design epicenter, but the story behind their work is unparalleled as their craftsmanship. This haven of highly skilled artists was the vision of sibling partners Troy and Mandy Garza. Known for their lacquer refinished furniture, metal fabrications, and distinctive decor for a beautifully curated design. I'm excited for this VIP tour. Uh, I know, I'm excited to have you here. Yeah, well show so, me around. Come around in here, come on yeah. in. So this is the original shop that we opened up going on three years. Wow, I just, this is cool. Go on here too. Yeah, and it was just to show people how versatile lacquer is. So once it's on the, the furniture, yeah. it doesn't come off. It's Because it, it, basically that's how we refinish furniture. Is this for sale? It's for sale. So we have Meow Clark, um, and this is some of her jewelry here. I give her my color samples and yeah. she'll match the jewelry to what it's gonna be displayed oh on. Oh my gosh. And then take me through here. So yes. This piece is gorgeous. So this piece is actually gonna be delivered later today. Even on pieces like this, I yeah. still have two tone out. The I hardware. like the two tone. When you come out here, we kind of have like this, um, like a compound oh stuff God. feeling. So the way that it kind of works, like if someone brings us pieces that we're doing custom, the flow of it goes in through this shop where we're getting it prepped. Okay. Then it goes into paint. Unless something's broken, then it'll come in through here. We fix it in the repair shop, and then go through there, paint, and then they go out. So it's just a big rotating system. Wow. It's in there. And you've lived all over, right? So what's brought uh, you back to Tomball? You like, know, to make your... my mom's shop was here for 17 years, okay. and that's one of the main factors, but you know, there's so much wide open space to do things. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's a matter of someone doing it for someone to see it. Right. And a lot of times what I saw is like, whenever people did shabby or they did like these romantic countries or chalk paint, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that they had nothing to compare it to to see what was great and what wasn't. Right. And then when we came in with our contemporary style that we can kind of tweak a little bit, yeah. it worked. Yeah. And that was kind of like, now we got people in Galveston calling us. Like we did probably seven pieces for um, studios down there off of the Strand. And they just love like, kind of like the industrial look that we can do with right. the furniture. Now you're bringing life to pieces that become these heirlooms. They do. And it's yeah. one of those things that kind of uh, it reminds me of, you know, where you've come from. Right. But then the possibility of how things can change too. That was really what I focused on for the shop. And that's why you see a lot of cool colors and things that are like my accent colors are sometimes my main colors that I start with and then I put everything like around it. I like to build around the things that are neglected wow. and normally that's where the connection when people come in. That leads me to your little cigar lounge. Yes, yes. So are yeah. you gonna show uh, me the cigar lounge? I will show you that <laughs> in there too. You guys so. see what he's made the cigar lounge uh, out of. Yes, out of the 1956 Spartan. Oh my, oh, I can't wait to see it. So yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is fabulous. Oh yeah, I can chill here all day. <laughs> right, on the Chesterfield <laughs> couch over here too. This so. is awesome. So is this open after hours? It is. So I think like tonight they'll be open yeah. until 10. And just guys come in here, you know, women smoke cigars too. I'm not a big cigar smoker, oh, I, but- I, I, I like me a cigar. But I like the smells of them and those things. <laughs> My buddy, Ryan Rika, he does all of our leather work, like for our wallets. So these are beautiful. So his uh, craftsmanship is awesome. And I'm not just like selling those things. We're also clients. They do, cu <laughs> they do cl uh, custom wallets for me too. Well, hold on. This is a cigar caddy. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this is how you hide the cigars from the wifey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, on there. <laughs> that you can is see them. cool. There. These are gifts you can't find anywhere. I mean, they're really unique and one of a kind. They can't, so yeah. Men or women. Yes. Like, this is yeah, so we do that. We do t-shirts. Awesome. Uh, Mandy did her own line of candles and beard oils. So they have more of like a masculine scent to like what? their candles. And then... Yeah, that smells amazing. And even like with this uh, scrap leather that we have, we'll go in and make like bow ties for the dogs. Might put them... For your doggy, I'd wear it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like settle down, settle down here. It's like that kind of establishment, guys. Next stop next door is Muse 101. This art gallery is dedicated to vibrant, one-of-a-kind furniture and art pieces, each with a story to tell. <sighs> That's the piece. Too, no, that so. was the one I saw in Instagram and I went, mmm. You put a heart somewhere in all of your paintings, right? Pretty much all of them. That's for your see, mom. Hey, that's for my mom. Like, this is a piece from the 1800s. Jeez, really? This is a great, great room. So yeah, so this is a lot like where you see like the colors that we're doing. Yep. I just finished that buffet was the last piece that I had done and then the two pieces that went above it. 
And you will ship these if someone orders yes, them? Yes, we will. We'll make a crate and ship those together. This was just kind of getting like one of those like chaotic hearts. A joke was people always say like, I wonder how your brain works. Right. So then on this side, I said, that's a scan of my brain. Like, you know, like oh, just geez. the way it looked like on there, you know what I mean? Is this your brain or is that your brain? That would be that my brain, like on there too. I don't know what it means exactly. I got to talk to a therapist, I'm sure, but they'll tell me what that means. I had the opportunity to sit down with Troy to discover his motivation and how he brought a spotlight to a family of a Uvalde victim that has captured the heart of the city and Matthew McConaughey. So I did this canvas and it had the little footprints on there that I actually used my daughter's uh, Converse on a really large canvas and it showed this really small person with this really big problem that we have and uh, it caught the eye of some people, some people from Austin said, hey, you know, it's like we need to get you in touch with like Matthew McConaughey and his foundation that was there. They had reached out. But what was interesting was the family of the little girl that I had done it for uh, called me directly. To watch the interview with Troy and our full episode, visit that'smyhouston.com. Thank you for watching That's My Houston. For more information about 209th Designs, visit them at 209thDesigns.com. This episode was brought to you by the Summerlin Group with Compass.